the first time ever, orcas have come to the Okanagan, but it's not what you'd expect. Sea Breachers, a company that builds semi-submersible personal watercrafts, has made their home in Peachland, where they plan to market their product. Really, this is a cross between a personal watercraft, a semi-submersible, and a fighter jet. And uh, it's an acrylic canopy that you can open. You can drive on the surface on a beautiful day like today and um, soak up the sun, but when you decide you want to get a little crazy, you just close the canopy, you pressurize it up to about 16 PSI, and then you're ready to go. You either you can go underwater and then jump or you can barrel roll, or you can bunny hop. Retiring in Peachland, Clark and his wife believe the Okanagan is the perfect destination for the sea breacher, as the area is ripe with tourism throughout the summer. There's a company in New Zealand called Hydro Attacks. They have seven sea breachers that they take people rides in. And over the, the six years that they have been in business, they have taken over half a million visitors for 15-minute rides at a fee of $150 US for each ride. So that's about 75 million that they have done in sales in just having six sea breaches. So it's a very profitable industry for anybody that wants to get into the ride service. The rental industry is something that is different. Training is required before you would take a boat out like this. But once they're trained, I'm sure any rental company would be very profitable. Clark says the training course through Sea Breacher is a one to two day course that takes roughly eight hours to complete. What's different about a personal watercraft to a Sea Breacher is that you don't drive these, you fly them all over the water. So you need some experience in either flying or helicopter or take our training, which is about a one day to a two day training course on how to operate them. Because you have pitch, roll and yaw. And un un unlike sea -Doo, which is just left and right, you have to control all three at the same time. If you're interested in learning more about the Sea Breacher, you can visit SeaBreacher.com where the personal watercraft start at $110,000 and go up to nearly $200,000. i am Braden Ursel in Peachland for Castanet.